Locked on Big Wheel Levinson. And it's time to talk sports after a three week hiatus. The Colorado Mesa Mavs return to the basketball court tonight. First up was the women's team taking on CSU Pueblo. And boy, the Mavs did not show any rust in this one. And a beautiful play gets Olivia Reed wide open for the easy land. Not the girl you want to leave open if you're CSU Pueblo. And Reed again now in transition, bucket and the foul. 20 points in the night for last year's National Freshman of the Year. And down big in half to the Thunder Wolves turn to the press, but the Mavs took full advantage. Easy jumper for Kylie Kravig. Get falls, but you want to talk about having a big night. Boy, it was the Mason Rowland show. Great work down low here to extend the lead. 30 points in the night for Rowland. Well, if it wasn't Rowland scoring, it was Reed. Their 50 combined points tonight were just nine less than the entire CSU Pueblo team scored as the Mavs cruise to a 10th victory and take down the Thunderwolves 74 to 59. But then it was time for the men to take the court against those Thunderwolves, and this place was buzzing from the jump. It's been nearly a month since the Mavs took the court in Grand Junction, and boy, did we miss them. But here tonight, it was CSU Puebla who struck first off a nice stroke from Armin Muldrew, but back come the Mavs. Isaac Jessup says, anything you can do, I can too. From the corner, it's 3-3, and the Mavs, they were firing from deep. From the corner, book it, same corner. This time it's Aiden Cool. And effort on the offensive glass here leads to an and one. Reese Johnson strong down low, puts the Mavs up three. And Mac Rineker, this is his MO, making moves down low. That's how you work the post, folks. Mavs up four. And now it's Owen Coos who tries the corner triple, and he drills it. Boy, CMU love to pop it from the left corner. But every time CMU found something offensively, the Thunderwolves had the answer at the other end. Makai Morris makes this a one-point game. But just in case we haven't shown you enough corner threes, here is another. Chesif knocks it down, and the Mavs are on fire from deep as they go up four in the first half. And these Mavs, they've shown it all year long. They are a second-half team, and they found their groove late in the second half to put up over 90 points in three straight games. Taking down CSU Pueblo, 94 to 82. And CMU continues their great start to the year to get to 10 and 2. Both the men's and women's teams will be right back at it again tomorrow at Bronson against New Mexico Highlands. And to the ice up in the mountains and Vale. The Cap Rock Eagles have done it again. Now winners of three in a row, the Grand Valley boys get it done over Battle Mountain. And in their inaugural season, the Eagles have begun the year at 4-2-1. And remember, in their last two games, Cap Rock outscored their opponents Rampart and Cheyenne Mountain 17 to nothing. This team might just be a problem, folks. Boy, I am still not over what transpired for the Avs and the Nuggets last night, both winning miraculously on the final play. And let's start off with what happened in San Francisco. Late last night, mere moments after we went off the air, it was simply magical. Roll that clip. Jokic has it. Clock takes, got to put one up. Jokic for the win. Wow, wow, and wow. Simply unreal. Nathan McKinnon and Nikola Jokic, they are absolute superstars. And right now, yeah, these are the two best players in their respective sports on this earth, ladies and gentlemen. And they play right here in this great state. And speaking of playing in this great state, that's exactly what the Nuggets did tonight. Boy, it was a quick turnaround for the Nuggets just a day after playing in Northern California. And well, Denver hung tough throughout, but they fall just short in a heartbreaker, 122 to 120. A tough one for Denver, but hey, I don't know about you, but I am still riding the high of Jokic's incredible buzzer. What an awesome night of action here on a glorious Friday night on the Western Slope. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.